Talented film composers have become very good at writing music that represents all sorts of sounds. They don't have to accurately represent what they are portraying. They just have to convince us that they are accurate in the portrayal of their ideas. It's all a cool trick to create a mood. One of their most successful and famous tricks is to write music that sounds like a train. Think of the Hogwarts Express from Harry Potter. So here is my question. What does a train really sound like, and can we transcribe those sounds into actual music using chords that is totally convincing? It turns out that there are two really clear chords used by train horns that can be played on the piano or that can be orchestrated that are very often used for this kind of sound. First of all, let's hear the real horn of a freight train as it goes by. It is clearly an incomplete diminished chord with C, E flat, and A, so that chord can be easily transcribed to music. So let's hear that same chord on the piano. Next, let's hear the horn of a second freight train going by. It is a G-sharp minor 7 over D-sharp chord, and it is incredibly clear. So now let's hear that same chord on the piano. When I heard the horn of the second train, I was totally surprised to find out that it is exactly the same chord that starts the Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Only in the Bohemian Rhapsody, that chord is one half tone lower. It is a G minor 7 over D chord. Now here is the start of the Bohemian Rhapsody, which of course begins with that inversion of that G minor 7 chord. In fact, I have suggested to my students that they should associate the second inversion of any minor 7 chord with the beginning of the Bohemian Rhapsody. It is simply a marvelous sound link. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me comments about anything you'd like, comments about anything you'd like to see in the future, and remember that I consider all suggestions.